Okay, I'm done with this annoyance, so I stopped it finally. Anyway, so this is a video again. Um, gameplay, me finding blast shards and trying to get trophies. I'm almost finished and I'm about to platinumize this game. And I will make a video celebrating the platinumization of this game, getting my very first platinum trophy ever. Anyway, so what I'm intending to do, since I have seven trophies, making a gameplay, trying to get those finished. I also had an epic idea for Infamous 3, since I've heard a lot of hype ab around it, and rumors, and I know that it's definitely going to be made. There is no... It's very unlikely that they won't. Lots of hype, popularity. Everyone wants an Infamous 3. Give us Infamous 3. Come on, come on, come on. Like, they're agitating it. And they already have... They already have rumors saying that it's coming out in 2013, which... Hopefully the world doesn't end before then, but anyway. I thought we were done with that, but apparently there's still rumors about that. Um, so... Here we go. Here's my epic idea, and there's also another thing that I want to mention. United Com Rocks. Uh, I, I have a mission designed for you that I'll tell you about in a minute, but first, my epic idea. So, let's continue on this before I forget. Um, now, in one of my previous videos, I said, why not introduce a new character? And I played six, not one, not two, but six, six UGC missions that taught me a valuable lesson. Friends. I mean, you only have three tops in this game. In this game, you got Zeke, Nyx, and Quo. We need more conduits, for crying out loud. We, meet, we need more characters, shape-shifting ones, too, because if you play through all the missions, some of them can shape-shift into the enemies you find in this game. Oh, poo, I'm on Alpha Boat. Alpha Boat. Anyway, kind of said that with an accent, didn't I? No, don't shoot at me. I need that blast shard. Please! So many police cops. Get the blast shard. Okay, now I'm just gonna die. Ooh, ooh, another one. Ooh, get get over here. Get over here. Um, okay, so here's the idea. Friends. Like, alternate characters that they didn't end up putting in this game. We need conduits. We need friends. We need allies. We need a whole camp filled with them. Uh, Infamous 3, Cole... Like, an idea. Cole wakes up beginning of Infamous 3, so to say, and the starting mission, either good or bad, I don't know whether, the, it, we're going to have to add on to this eventually, but uh, he wakes up, and an unlikely ally pops up, someone unintroduced, um, who is accompanying Kessler, now this may or may not be true, you can change the Kessler, you, whether he's still in or not. Uh, if you want to drop him as a character, that's okay with me. I don't care. Um, anyway, so they tell you that your efforts in Infamous 2 is basically nowhere close to what you're about to be prepared for. And they... You need allies. You need to make friends. You need to find conduits. You need to... Uh, um, help them, or, ha um, help them in whatever their struggle is, like, in Assassin's Creed, ha in Brotherhood, you're trying to find a bunch of people to help you fight against this humongous force. Something similar to that, where you're, like, uh, you're using all your friends to fight against some stupid, ridiculous, tedious force. And you you build a camp and uh, or somewhere a hideout or whatnot, and you um, you befriend all these conduits and you can visit them. They will have little side missions and things for you to do, uh, but basically they all have names, different powers, things like that, and they'll help you in your story and in your efforts against this big force that I don't know. Maybe it could be Kessler again, but I don't know. As I said, it, this is a, a, an idea. It's not... I'm not making it up. I didn't... This is the idea. 
I don't know whether to add on to it or not, but this is uh, it so far. Anyway, so we got the conduits running around. And Kessler explains to you how exactly conduits are alive when the RFI got rid of them in the good ending, or in the bad ending, you killed humanity, so what's the point? You made conduits, but you killed humanity in the process, so there is no humans, which kind of eliminates the whole idea of a bad ending, but still, um, somehow, everybody still survived somehow, or they repopulated and whatnot, and stuff like that, and there's regular humans, and then most of them is like an avatar thing, where some of them are non-benders, and some of them are, some, some, there are humans and conduits. Explanation on that? I don't have one. But anyway, so we got the conduits, we got a hideout, we got the Force, which we still don't know. Not the Force in Star Wars. Um, what, what am I trying to say here? You make allies. That's, that's my idea, basically. And the story, Kessler tells you how conduits existed, what you're supposed to do to prepare for the Force, how you're going to go about doing this, alternate choices, Karma will greet you eventually. There will be certain choices and certain good and bad choices to make during these times. Like, choosing to recruit someone or not could end up in good or bad karma or something like that. Anyway, so that was my idea on how the karma revolves in here somehow. Now, there will be other ways to regain karma, but th back to the main point. Um, so we've got a bunch of conduits running around being conduits and giving you side missions and advice and the story is basically recruiting, spying, fighting, tons of enemies that just come up of the top of your mind, new fighting techniques, fighting style. Of course we should bring back the amp, but I had an idea about the amp. Um, you know how it's got two thingies like the amp right here, what he's holding. Um, I had an idea for that, but I forgot. Anyway, we've got new fighting style, new this, new aimer. We need a new aimer. A circle just ain't gonna do it for me. We need a new sight, or whatnot. Uh, we need lots of DLC. That's what I want. Um, and the story. That's my idea. My conduits recruiting them and all. That's how to build up the story. So you're, basically, you wake up, you're greeted by Kessler, he tells you how conduits exist, and, um, you try out your basic powers that were from the first game, and, uh, and you explore, you find a person or two that are conduits, you talk to them, they tell you something, you advance on the story, yada, 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 fill in the blank yourself, so, conduits, yeah, that's my idea. You want to recruit them. Recruit as many as possible, upgrade them, kind of like in Assassin's Creed style, but not too much into it, because then it's just totally copycatting off of Assassin's Creed. But there you go. That That's my foolproof idea. Add on to it, critique it, do whatever, leave a comment. It, I thought it was a good idea, so I my idea may not really makes sense, and you might have to watch it multiple times, because I have a little brain problem on getting my ideas out there correctly, so people can understand them. So if you can't, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe I'll try it again. Maybe rethink my whole story, try it again, make it a little better, critique it so it's understandable. Anyway, so that was my idea. And, okay, so this is a mission design I want United Com Rocks to do. Uh... I, it's happened before, but I want to replay it. I want to replay Infamous 2. Without having to start a new save and re rediscover all my powers. I want... I want to... I know this is a, a stupid thing to ask, but I want... I want an alternate Infamous 2 ending. Make me a third one. A third random en ending. One that I, we haven't seen before. Because there was an alternate ending in the first one, Cole's Burden. Where's the alternate ending in this? I mean, I thought the uh, an alternate ending would happen if you let Zeke shoot you and kill you. 
and stuff, instead of, like, you choose evil ending, but Zeke kills you instead, and he somehow manages to kill you, or something weird, like, uh, an alternate story, based off of good or bad ending choice. <coughs> I want United Com Rocks to make me a series of missions, making the third and final alternate ending to Infamous 2. I want a third ending, an alternate ending, and a story based off of one of the previous endings, or how to get to it, or an explanation on how to get to the third ending, or if Sucker Punch added this, this is what you would have su been supposed to do, and let me play through it. So, that's my, that's my, my question for you, Uniticom, if you'll be so kind as to build me an alternate ending. We're hardcore infamous fans. We deserve to have this. It'll make you more popular. It'll make me more popular. Uh, we'll get lots of subscribers in the process. Everybody will want to play it. You'll get lots of plays. You'll be a famous PlayStation person, which might be a little bit to ask for, since if you're going to be a celebrity, everyone's going to friend request you and whatnot. But still, that'd be awesome if you could make me a, an alternate, a third alternate ending. So... So there you go. That's what I want you to do. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and watch my future videos. Thanks.